Alright guys, I have one of our guys, uh, Stu, <laughs> and he just picked up some archers and was wondering about how to make them work. Now, I'm going to pretty much say right off the bat, uh, for a lot of your purists and super pro guys, the archer's just not a good mech. Um, Hitboxes, low cockpit, I've, I've heard it all. But me being the first dude that I am, I like it anyway. Um, now, they are uh, a bit different from each other, um, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick overview. Now, uh, I'm going to center on the uh, 2R uh, for, for my gameplay and everything, um, but I'm going to do a quick rundown, let you see what we're working with here on the 4 Archer variants. Now, we have the uh, Archer 5W. Now uh, this is, uh, it does have the LRM quirks and, and some structure quirks. Uh, for a brawler, it does have a few things. Um, now the one weapons quirk it has is uh, based towards LRMs, kind of sucks. Um, you put standards in these if you're going to brawl with them. All right, uh, heck, this is one of the few times I try to think about putting standards in them anyway, but, you know, LRM or not, uh, because... Uh, Let's go over here and look at this guy right here. they got the same frame. Uh, small center torso. Kind of awesome. It doesn't have Kentaro's disease. Big ass side torsos. This thing is about as XL friendly as a cat in a bag. So um, try to run standards on these. Now they say once you get to standards, uh, it does kneecap some builds and everything. But I've, you know, I make it happen. Uh, I, I, as you see, I do have the XLs on my... my uh, LRM boats, but the Arbalest is a brawler here. That's what I named it anyway. And you see, I got the seven SRM sixes. Um, might go with fours. Uh, they're more efficient. You know, it's still feeling that one out myself. I've been swapping back and forth. Not quite sure which one I like better. Um, now over here you have the Archer 5S. Now five missile ports, four energy. Oh wait, you know, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> four energy ports. And uh, I kind of, they say LRMs don't, you know, kind of run very well. And, it, it, and in this case, it does have a slight nudge on general uh, missile area. Instead of having LRM-based quirks, it's just general missile cooldown, 5%, missile heat generation, minus 5%, not, not, nothing great. Uh, but like the uh, 5W, it does get bonuses to turn rate and acceleration rate. Now, while the 5W... Uh, this is really good for a brawler here. It has a turn rate bonus of plus 50% and the plus 60 uh, acceleration and deceleration, which is great. Um, and, you know, when you get nine missile ports, you can do whatever you want. Now, this guy, it, it has it not quite as much. Uh, you have your 50% uh, acceleration decel and then your turn rate of 35%. Uh, that's pretty cool, you know. Not, and you can make a brawler out of this. Um, does have uh, a bit more structure bonuses. Not nothing right home home about, but it does have a bit more structure bonuses. Uh, it, it it is actually um, it, it, this. You can turn this into a pretty effective brawler. I didn't, but I might still do it. Um, this guy uh, with with the quirks that it has is actually a little tougher than the brawler quote unquote archer here, as you can see. Um, and the turn and the uh, yaw bonus too is uh, pretty helpful. Um, either one of these will serve pretty well as a close range baller. You can put LRMs on it. Believe it or not, the 5W. Uh, I, I had an LRM build on it, and I actually didn't like it very much compared to the SRM. So uh, you know, there you go. Just take that with a grain of salt. Now, um, my buddy here uh, is the OG Archer, the uh, ARC2R, and uh, dude, this thing. Uh, it doesn't have the structure bonuses. It does have a bit of a turn rate, and then of course the 60% XL de acceleration deceleration, uh, uh, and it has the torso turn rate. It does not have a turn bonus, and um, this guy, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you know, has solid missile quirks, and it just seems to work very well. Um, you do have uh, three missile ports. Some people like to do the three LRM-10 thing on this one. Uh, with the recent buffs to the LRM-20, uh, it's turned out to be a good thing. Um, 
We got the four medium lasers, Beagle Active Probe. Now the Beagle Active Probe, I like to put these on my missile boats not to be able to see. Let's see, I got on that one, and uh, I don't need one for that. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I do have on my catapult and uh, my trebuchets and stuff like that. Now what, what I like about it is with the you know, especially on the clan side, you got a lot of uh, light mechs with, that are ECM capable, and it jams it, and uh, allow it makes it a lot harder for them to sneak up on you, and it makes it easier for buddies to pick them off of you if you're uh, struggling getting them off of you yourself. Um, so uh, I do like having Beagle Active Probe uh, when I can, when the weight allows. Um, you know, this thing is not, uh, the 2R is not anything to write home, home about on paper, but I've had a lot of success with it, and I really like it. Uh, it might, yeah, I actually, in some ways, probably like it even better than my Tempest. It just seems to work out well. Uh, and then, of course, the Hero Mech, the Tempest here, I named mine Stormcaller. Uh, now, they do say that uh, this was actually a better use as a brawler, but I have had pretty good luck uh, having this guy as a uh, LRM boat, I got the LRM 15 plus Artemis. With the ECM, uh, what that does is uh, that actually helps on uh, when guys try to do counter battery and everything, and you can actually uh, take advantage of uh, a lot of things and, and take positions that might normally be a bit riskier um, and uh, be hidden away uh, when you're in j jam mode. <coughs> or uh, disrupt mode, excuse me, and then uh, you can uh, jam a uh, light, you know, if a light gets on you, uh, and he's really hugging you, you can actually jam his ECM, it's not as effective as a Beagle Active Probe in that regard, but it's still pretty handy, uh, this guy runs hot, but uh, I've been, I've learned to really kind of toe the line on the heat, and six medium lasers can really get you out of trouble, <coughs> now, uh, as a lot of you guys know, I've always preached being able to be a frontline fighter to a certain extent as an LRM boat. <coughs> and, uh, you know, always have some backup weapons and don't be afraid to get stuck in if you have to. So uh, this guy's really good at it. Um, and uh, I have a lot of fun with him. Uh, as you see, uh, Stretcher Quartz, eh, you know, kind of middle, upper middle class with the rest of the archers. Uh, does not get any of the movement quirks and uh, that's where the ECM helps makes up for some of that um, and uh, well that's kind of the quick overview now um, because a lot of guys aren't going to go out of their way to buy uh, the Tempest uh, I'm going to center around uh, uh, my Archer 2R and how that game played out it really doesn't play too differently than uh, other LRM boats. Um, just to keep in mind, uh, the hitboxes is actually probably the one thing that I, I was used to catapults, and uh, catapults, um, fairly XL friendly, you know, hitboxes are not too bad, you know. And it, in and of itself, it just seems to be a pretty tough mech, you know, for a 65 tonner. Now you get the uh, extra weight on this guy of 70 tons, and it helps with uh, ammo and armor and all that. Um, but, um, not quite as mobile, of course, though with the builds I have, uh, I felt I had to sacrifice too much to get them as mobile as, say, my catapults. Uh, still a little burst in speed, but not, you know, nothing great. You know, this one goes 74.6, uh, then the, I did the usual 69.7, 74.6, so I, I really only upgraded the, uh, engine just a little bit, um, Anyway, so I'm going to go with uh, the 2R's build here. Now, there it is. Uh, didn't like this too much, but I stuffed, every, you know, I stuffed ammo everywhere. Um, and I decided uh, I had an XL engine, so if a side torso went anyway, what the hell do I need case for? So, there it is. Um, and uh, this... But, you know, play around with it. If you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of speed to put a standard in there, a little speed in uh, ammunition, it will, of course, affect your, you know, upgrade your survivability. Me, I like being able to fire missiles all day long, so I, I wait it out. And uh, so here you got your uh, your four medium lasers. Uh, now, the cool thing uh, about the Archer 
what I like anyway. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it for, I guess, when you have mediums, it's short range hill humping. Um, hang on a second. The <laughs> center torso lasers are above the head there, and uh, that was one thing that it, it's kind of weird. <clears throat> But, you know, uh, can be helpful in some, albeit limited, situations. But it's, you know, kind of cool there. Something to look at there. And, uh, anyway, so the, these are the ones here. These guys are, uh, they've been a lot of fun for me, uh, despite all the shortcomings. And especially, of course, of the meta and everything and hitboxes. Uh, they, they've turned out to be a good buy, and I, I don't regret it, really. They've been, uh, they've been pretty fun. Now... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably play around uh, with the uh, LRM version. Uh, this uh, this beast right here, I'm much improved in my brawling, but <coughs> uh, if you get archers, most likely, you know, you're going to put LRMs on them. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and run around. Uh, I might actually run two. I might run this guy uh, here as well. And uh, run around as an LRM, or and then run around as a brawler. Uh, hopefully, uh, these games turn out worthwhile <laughs> as I am recording this. But um, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and jump in Mangano here, and we'll go ahead and wait. Now, I don't know <laughs> if they plan on uh, doing any buffs to the structure or armor. Uh, of these guys anytime soon so pretty much what you see is what you get if you get in the archers to make missile brawlers uh, uh, with the yeah, I mean, with the exception of maybe the 5s and 5w you know I mean they're, they're the ones you would use for that and there's just better crap out there um, I'm not gonna lie better heavy brawlers um, uh, the Archer by Lore is an LRM mech, and PGI pretty much by Quirks said, yeah, you're an LRM mech. So, <clears throat> Frozen City, okay. Now, <coughs> the rules are still the same, Dark Horse Foo, LRMing. Uh, get stuck in, don't, don't, you know, of course there are times where it, it is, vi you know, viable or even expedient to, you know, go from around eight to eight to seven eight hundred meters uh, but really uh, the, you make your money around three four hundred meters believe it or not that that's flight time uh, is much shorter you're more likely to hit uh, more missiles hit they track better I mean it, it just yeah so you're, you're looking anywhere from three to five hundred as the sweet spot as it were, spending the closer the better. Uh, there have been many times where I have towed the line at 180, 200 meters and got my medium lasers involved and all that, and then that's when you really start racking up the damage. Um, and learning how to brawl, you, you know, as I've been in the unit a while and got some pointers right and everything. Um, yeah, man. Uh, it, it, does, it does help. Uh, focusing body parts, all that stuff that you kind of pick up. Uh, it all helps, man. So anyway, let's go ahead and drop on here. Reactor online. Sensors online. Let's see what we can Weapons see. Online. All systems nominal. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get a little bit. I'm kind of glad it's not a map like Polar or somewhere you kind of got to work for a little bit because um, then you can kind of showcase what's going on now we went slide down the hill there a little bit <coughs> all right so now this one uh, on this map in particular uh, the central wreck where a lot of the stuff goes on is actually not a bad spot to be as long as your flanks are holding uh, it's very easy to flank down there but uh, if you can get set up uh, pretty close range and uh, you can actually cut through a lot of that cover. Target acquired. Okay, so what am I going to do? Uh, we're going to go ahead here. New target acquired. Shit, I'm really 
does that often. I've been seeing more victors lately. I know they had a buff to their armor, I believe, or something. They did get buffed, and apparently people are taken out of the garage. And... Right, New target see. acquired. Now, I'm going to hold off, because there you go, see? It's not always bad to shoot from a... racks and uh, they will go through your missiles quickly even 1800 and 90 up. Uh, that's better uh, this is the part where you start getting your own uh. oh new target acquired Hopefully, uh, it'll go better. But yeah, it, it, there's when, the ranges I was engaging at are uh, pretty good when you got a team that doesn't fold like a freaking. I can't. I can't even think of how, uh, figures. Anyway, so blah blah blah. Let's try one more. I, I don't want to make this video too long. I did try to say I did say I was going to try to do a brawling one too. Um, not and it, it, brawling's really not my area of expertise. So we might just have to take Dark Horse's word for it that the five S and the five W are the two you're going to turn into brawlers. <coughs> but um, uh, yeah, that, that that was not. Uh, I mean, I showcase the tactics, but it always works better when you win. <laughs> so, there we go. Watch it take a year and a day now. Come on. Mm. Now, the one thing, um, if you're going to play that close, uh, 
the, you know, the way I do it, uh, one thing is you got to have your head on a swivel. Uh, a lot of times, and I think I might have said this in my previous video if you've seen it, uh, a lot of times, if you're the, you know, because you're kind of still towards the back of the front, yeah, a lot of times, and uh, if there's a flanking deal and someone spots it, a lot of times you're the first person to really react, you know. Uh, there was an instance there in that last match where, you know, there was a, a blip and I turned around and I started trying to launch missiles at it. And then uh, you got to really stay on top of things and uh, divide your attention to a certain extent. But... Without fail. But, uh, what else is there? Um, really, um, it's more a general statement. This was uh, specifically an archer, but if you're uh, <coughs> really thinking about an LRM boat, uh, probably a, a more forgiving one would be the catapult. So if any of our newer mech warriors are watching this uh, and if you do show an interest in LRMing uh, a, a good a good you can't go wrong starting with the catapult there's other ones uh, variants of the uh, awesome the archer of course here uh, the trebuchet which I might actually do a video on that one too because that, that that plays different it's an LRM boat but it plays different so uh, if this video actually turns out to be helpful eh, eh, I'll find peace uh, excellent. I'll use that times 11 for a video. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I was about to say. Alright. So, hopefully this one will showcase better. Um, hopefully I have a team, you know, team that will hold up. Um, uh, it is a team sport, guys. If you want to call it eSport, whatever. So, um, you Everybody has a role, and uh, when you're in an LRM boat, archer, catapult, whatever, your role is to wear down the opponent before they actually mix it up with the brawler, so the brawlers already have an advantage. Um, and uh, I, I find it a pretty fun way to play, at least the way I do it. I mean, you know, sitting back at 800 and constantly spamming missiles is boring, but getting up close to and you know, up close and personal indirect fire support, you know. Great. Totally great. I love it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Seven moving to H seven guys. Yeah, I don't go down. Test fire, fuck it. Alright, here we go. We're on a two way range. 
damage. No. Okay. We're receiving reports that the enemy's VIP mech is 25% of the way to the evac zone. New target acquired. New target yep. acquired. I saw that freaking aerospace fighter. I want to see what was going on. Right. This is where aggressiveness is not necessarily the key. Demol, you've got uh, two guys heading straight for you. You guys need to, the rest of you need to hurry up. Righto. New target acquired. In this case, we're going to go ahead and engage a longer range. See what the AMS is going on. New target acquired. Let's see, they're not all the shit, are they? I don't like that. Let's see, sometimes you got to get your own spots. New target acquired. Demol, you got a guy right behind you. Let's see if I can get closer. The enemy VIP mag is halfway to evac. Pick it up, soldier. Let's see if popping in the back. Yeah, I just missed it. He's done. Really? I've got a Griffin on me in I nine. These are the ranges we're talking about, and they still can't keep them locked. New target acquired. Oh no. New target acquired. Fails, man. What are you guys doing? You have to keep moving. The uh, VIP is moving away from us. New target acquired. Oh man, he's loading his a, uh, Target acquired. Looks like the enemy's VIP is evacuated. 
Evacuated. Well, guys, looks That's like it, we're soldiers. not going to have There's a no more. adequate showing, though at least I consider it such, but hopefully you kind of get the idea. Um, uh, well, I earned enough to get an equal sign. <laughs> anyway, like I said, guys, uh, it never fails. I have the great games. Uh, and then as soon as I turn on the video recorder, it's freaking goes to crap. Uh, I'm still going to post this anyway. Uh, I think the first part was worthwhile <coughs> explaining about you know, the quirks for the different variants. <coughs> anyway, and um, that's about it. I will uh, hopefully uh, make some more of these that aren't too horrible. <laughs> okay, guys. Take care and uh, be careful out there.